Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new day of Rogue Tutti's World 2019. Thank you so much for being here. Um, Anaheim and Harrogate Regionals just took place and I'm sure most of you have heard that uh, Jimmy Pendarvis won with Zora Control yet again in Expanded. However, in Standard we, have a, we had a, a much more um, surprising result in which Zorg paired up with Guerrados ended up winning the whole event. So, um, big congratulations to both Jimmy and Philip on their wins this past weekend. Um, Guerrados is a very interesting partner with Zorg because Placephalon definitely um, has a very good matchup against Zorg. So, with Guerrados, you are actually able to fix that, along with having the benefit of a really good non GX attacker. So Gyarados, 150 HP, weak to Lightning, which is basically as not having any weakness at this point in the game. Um, Venting Anger deals 50 damage for each Magikarp in your discard pile. So usually your maximum damage output would be 150, right? Or 180 with a Choice Band, because you would have to have one Magikarp to evolve into Gyarados and then three of them in the discard pile. However, because we do have Tero Prism Star, now you can have all four Magikarp in your discard pile and deal up to 200 damage, right? With Venting Anger or 230, thanks to a Choice Van, or even 250 with Professor Kukui. So really huge damage output for Gyarados. And um, it's especially nice because you have that great non-GX attacker option, but you also have the possibility to um, with just two magic arts, you can one shot Blacephalon. So you're always trading a non GX for a GX, which is uh, very ideal. Now we combine that with Zorg. Um, Zorg's trade ability allows you to discard a card and you draw two. So you can essentially discard the magic arts, which you can put into your hand thanks to Professor Elms, right? So beyond turn one, actually using Professor Elms turn one, four, three Zoruas, and then perhaps on turn two, even four magic cards to start discarding them is actually a pretty good idea. Um, then we have Righteous Beating, dealing 20 damage for each of your Pokemon in play, up to 150, 170 with a Choice Band. And now, um, Philip did choose to use three of the Submerged Magikarp, which uh, prevent damage on your bench, right? Or rather prevents damage um, if Magikarp is on the bench. So that's really cool. And then he chose to use one of the non-ability Magikarp. At first I couldn't think why you would not use just all four of the submerged Magikarps. Um, Weavile is a thing, so against Weavile this would probably be the Magikarp you would prioritize in benching. That way you're not adding 50 damage to their um, Evil Admonition attack. Now we have the Dero Prism Star of course to evolve into Gyarados and then we also have the one tech a little unmock in order to evolve um, Ditto Prism into that to share off our Anguru against Scramble and make that possibly a good matchup because you also have the option to discard three magic cards and have one Gyarados just swing for 150 damage and taking knockouts left and right. Now we have double Lele and one Marshadow for consistency purposes. And then we have the engine of the deck which is four Professor Elms along with double Cynthia, double Judge, double Kukui, and a single Tate and Liza, which I guess is used sometimes as, an, as a way to retreat. And also as a shuffle draw card, it gives you an option, right? Um, as opposed to just running three Cynthia. So you get an option um, in exchange for drawing an extra card, which I think is a very good one to have. Um, triple Acer Ola for healing and Triple Guzma to target down the right Pokemon and Double Palpat to make sure you're reusing all the supporters that you're going to need at any given point. Now we have 4 Ultra Ball, 4 uh, Timer Ball and 1 Mysterious Treasure to add consistency to the deck. The Mysterious Treasure helps in increasing the chances of the turn 1 Lele with the Elms. And then we also have Disruption with Triple Enhanced Hammer, probably for mirror matches, um, especially those where... Um, you're up against Zoro Lycanroc and they're using um, all unit energy and double colorless energy. You also have the max potion to heal uh, without playing a supporter card. Supporter card. The double palpad in order to reuse all the supporters I mentioned. Um, rescue stretcher to get back the Pokemon that we might need. Triple choice band to increase our damage output and then finally four DCs which is the only thing 
that we need to power up both of our attackers and even Tapu Lele. Now, because we only have four DCs, I guess that's why we have the resource management to Ranguru to make sure that we have enough energies because we might be up against against things that um, deny you resources. And so let's jump into a ladder, play a couple of games with Zoar Gyarados and see how this champion deck is now most likely going to be a part of the meta, right? Um, the combination seems powerful. Um, it is obviously powerful given the recent results and I fully expect this to become a, a deck moving forward. And it does seem like we're up against um, a fire colorless psychic deck, which I imagine is Blacephalon Aganadel with a Dero Prism Star tech. And we are going to start off with a pretty good hand. We're going first. Um, we don't have a great follow up to the Elm because we have a Zero Land Mock, but we have our top deck this turn. We have our top deck next turn. And we have um, the two cards we're going to draw off of the trade. So gonna grab the zero i'm gonna grab the ditto and i'm gonna grab a magic arp um we seem to be against my cargo gx rather than um what i what i expected to be um what i expected to be blacephalon it's actually going to be my cargo so it should be an even easier matchup i would assume um, we do need three magic orbs in the discard pile, however, to want to kill the Macargo or to end a choice band. So that's pretty good to know. Pokenap with Macargo makes a lot of sense. Doesn't grab any card, no Pokemon or energy off the top three cards. We're going to see a nest ball. So the top three cards are no longer what he would like. And we're going to get a turn to knockout here, which is really amazing. Uses Apricorn Maker. But since they already have three Guzmas, I mean three Slugmas, not Guzmas, three Slugmas in play, everyone will definitely grab Lily, yeah. There's a Lily, Lele for Lily. We'll draw um, seven cards off of that. Probably looking for the fourth Slugma, perhaps the Ditto. Um, if I evolve my Ditto into um, Muck, I would actually make it to where his, um, his Ditto would no longer work. So that's a good option to have. And that's why I'm not evolving Ditto into a Zorg for sure. I'm gonna lead with a trade, get a Magikarp into a discard pile. Um, there's the Gyarados. I believe this is gonna be a trade of one hit KO, so I'm just gonna discard the Acer Ola here. And there's a two Gyarados. We could get two Gyarados into play. I flip Double Tails on the Timer Ball, that's fine. Um, unfortunate, but it is what it is, and then we'll just ride just beating for the knockout here. So we get our first prize card, another Acerola, not too useful. Only one Magic Orb in the discard pile. We need a second one and a choice band, as I mentioned. Um, and I fully expect my opponent to use the GX attack this turn, right? Um, Unless he finds a choice band and gets the ability crushing charge off, then he would have a knockout on my uh, on my Zork. Well, with the Kukui now, all he needs is to get the ability, right? But if he whips, then um, he won't be able to, right? Uh, he ends up discarding a choice band. So there's a GX attack. There is the GX attack. Um, didn't discard too many great things for him. Uh, we lost two resources in the Ultra Wall, another Timer Wall, the Marshadow, and a Cynthia. But it's honestly not the end of the world by any means. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to evolve the Magikarp into Gyarados. And then I do believe I'm going to use Lele to grab um, a Cynthia if it's in there. It is. So I'm going to grab Cynthia. I wish I was playing Mallow. That would be good. Amalo would have me the would give me the guaranteed knockout. I'm just gonna go ahead and Cynthia here, and then if I get the right pieces to knock out the Macargo, that's awesome. So should I evolve the Ditto into Gyarados? Yeah, why not? Right? Double Gyarados is really good to have against uh, Macargo. So 
very fortunate matchup that we hit right off the bat we get the magic orb and we get the choice band so now all we need to hope for is that we hit the other dc so that's why i'm playing the mysterious treasure i'm getting the lay layout i only have two dcs in the deck i'm only drawing four cards so it's not a great chance to get it but i'm trying to maximize the chances that i will so one card out of the deck is just one extra chance that i will be able to hit that um probably gonna discard the tain eliza and then even if i don't hit it this turn as long as i hit it eventually i will be fine Timer Bolt could become Zor GX, which is um, an extra two cards, which is an extra out. I also get a card out, which is good. And let's go ahead and I think I'm gonna get rid of the, hmm. this has to 10 HP. Yeah, the Kukui seems fine. Nah, let's get rid of the Lele instead. And we don't get the DC, understandably so, right? Like odds were not in my favor. One is prize, there's two left in the deck. So we're gonna two shot the first Macargo, and that is perfectly okay. Because eventually we will be trading very, very favorably with the Gyarados, right? Even if we lose back to back Gyarados, like each Gyarados can net me essentially four prizes. Which is pretty okay in my book. We're gonna see a Lily. My band could be playing bodybuilding dumbbells, so um, attaching choice bands to the Gyarados could be important. Does hit the energy off of the ability. He needed that apparently because he doesn't have Kukui or choice band to get a knockout here. Here I'd love to have that energy somewhere else, but oh well. This is all good. It's going to be very unlikely for my opponent to get a knockout after this. So we should be okay here. Um, we do get a judge. My opponent does have seven cards in their hand. I'm gonna choice ban this guy. I'm gonna choice ban this guy. I could lead off with the judge. I don't know if that's the right call. Um, I do need a DC and I don't wanna make my deck bigger here. If I don't hit a DC, that will be very unfortunate this time around. I'm gonna discard the pulp pad. No. No DC yet. That's why I'm playing the timer ball. Just thin the deck a little bit more. And then let's go ahead and. You like discarding the Acerola is good here. No DC yet. No Lele available either. So I think I'm gonna end up playing the Judge here. I'll choice band here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and Ultra Ball. The Zorg and the Kukui. And then it's gonna be up to the Judge here for us to get the DC. Now my deck is pretty thin. And there's a DC, thankfully. Um, we do manage to pull it off. We will get the knockout here with Venting Anger, right? Gyarados is angry that the Magic Arbs have been discarded. And, hmm. I do get a uh, Guzma. Probably should have attached the Choice Man to the active because I'm not KOing stuff. <laughs> I'm not KOing my Cargo GX without the Choice Band. So that might have been a slight light mistake here we'll see though we'll see um this is the gyarados with a ditto so a small mistake as well because if this gyarados goes down for whatever reason um i'm not placing a magic orb into this card pile so yeah that choice band was misplaced the gyarados attacking was misplaced i should have been a bit more careful with that um we're gonna see around guru instruct my burn has already attached energy he needs another Macargo GX and he needs the two abilities to hit in order for him to get a knockout. There's a Pokenav. So if his three cards are exactly Macargo GX and two fires, then he would be able to pull it off. Doesn't seem like that's the case. 
is going to Lily. So it's going to be left up to chance unless he gets another Pokenap and he gets exactly those cards that I mentioned. Okay. There's the bodybuilding dumbbells. There's the pass. Right? There's the god. <laughs> Gyarados doesn't have the trade ability. The trade away the enhanced hammers, which are useless in this matchup. There's the DC. I do have the Guzma. So I can either take one prize card here and then just go down to two prizes. I think that's definitely gonna be the strategy here. I could just Professor Kukui as well. That might be even better. Um, Kukui does net me what I need in order to win this match. So now I'm dealing 240 damage. Oh no, the bodybuilding dumbbells. Duh. <laughs> Jeez, I keep making these silly mistakes. Um, I talked about the bodybuilding dumbbells and then I don't follow what I said. The, the play 100% should have been Guzma DC KO. Um, on the Ditto or the Victini maybe, or even the Slugma. I can't retreat. Red players with Fortress, so 10 shorts. We don't play Field Lore, so it's gonna be a 2 good KO. It's fine. We're gonna win anyways. That was a careless mistake. We just got back from Anaheim, so bear with me, guys. Bear with me. Okay, Energy Recycler. Cynthia. I generally don't think this, like I don't think my Harlow GX is very good. It just needs so much to get going. So, so much to get going. And then discards a fire, so he's not going to be able to attack me this turn. Discards a Mallow, which he would have loved to use. And there's a victory, yeah. So. If I had done the Guzma play, that probably would have been victory. Anyways, um, the choice fans definitely misattached. I was thinking, like, why did I attach them to Zorg? I was thinking perhaps Tabulele would be used to stall. At some point, I would need to do the Kugui choice fan DC play to get a knockout. That was not the case. Um, I forgot about the body building tumbles in that particular turn. I was considering it, as I mentioned in the beginning. I just, when it came to the moment, I forgot, but it's fine. We won anyways. Um, the match wasn't going to change. We had too much of an, advan too much of an advantage between weakness and uh, non-GX attackers, right? Because even if you have weakness, if you're trading two for two, then um, whoever gets the first two prizes and then doesn't whiff uh, will lose, right? But that is not the case here because we have a non-GX and they can only use the GX to attack with. And now we're up against a very psychic colorless deck. In standard, what could that possibly be? Huh. Perhaps some sort of Malamar, Shining Lugia, um, Fairy Lele sort of deck. Um, we are going to go first. We are going to start Lele, but we do have the other Lele to search for Elms, which is nice. And I mean, this could just be Guardi, right? And it is just Guardi. We do see Enhanced Hammer. Not great to see. We also see Energy Switch. So it's just going to be straight Guardi Nine Tails. No Swampert. Right? That's what I imagine. It's just going to be straight Guardi Nine Tails with no Swampert. So our best bet is going to be to um, outspeed or outpace our opponents. Actually, Guardy Sylvian. Okay, um, the turn to judge is gonna be pretty important here to get rid of whatever my opponent magical ribbons for. And so Professor Elm's lecture here. So this is the game where I might need to use Gyarados to hit for 200 damage. So I'm gonna get these guys, right? These three are pretty good because Ditto can become Zorg and then 
It can also become Gyarados, there were no magic or surprise, which is great. And then I have Ultra Volts and Traits um, in order to start applying pressure. The issue is no energy here means I'm definitely not going to be taking a knockout on the Sylveon for a while. Um, or I might just end up using Kuzma, not next turn, but the turn after, the turn after that. Um, which means I won't be able to judge whatever he magical, he magical ribbons for, so... Uh, the the stars are aligning a little bit for my opponent um, with that Lele start. If it had been a, a Magikarp or a Zorua start or a Zero start, we would have been fine. Um, I should probably prioritize the judges though. Between Judge and Marshadow, I should be able to deny the Magical Ribbon um, in back-to-back -back turns, or that's what I'm hoping. Um, even have the copycat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight on turn one. Doesn't play a single card with just magical ribbon. So even if I didn't have a Zoar, even if I could like copy that myself here, I don't think I would. Um, my play is 100% to judge here. So the high judge count um, ended up being pretty, pretty important for this particular game so far. Okay. Okay, so definitely evolving here. Definitely gonna play the timer ball. And I mean, how important is Mock going to be? Would have been nice to have it uh, to deny the EV evolution, of course, but that's not going to be the case. I'm just going to evolve. What I really need here is a. Um, first, Magic Arbs, and number two, it's. Um, DC, right? I need to be able to attach a DC to the Gyarados. It's gonna be a tough matchup though. No matter what, it's gonna be a tough, tough matchup. Maybe the DC would be fine on the Lele actually. To just poke at the Sylveon. Um, I'll discard the Kukui for now. Because either I hit for 200 or 230. I don't find the energy. However, um, so what I need to be able to do eventually is find a DC and then Ultra for Marshadow, which I'm not even sure is in the deck. I don't remember seeing it, uh, but that would be my play, right? Kuzma get a knockout plus Marshadow on the same turn to deny the Magical Ribbon. That's going to be the plan, I think. So it all still relies on finding energy, right? If I don't find energy to attack, then I can never accomplish these things. The enhanced hammers will be useful to keep the damage output in check a little bit. Just a little bit though. Oh wow, playing more than one copycat. So that definitely gives my opponent a chance to find like very candy, Cardi only finds a route and then goes ahead and magical ribbons. Okay, so there's another Zorua. I'm gonna trade one of them. I think to lay it on the bench is really a big waste of space. I think I'm going to trade the Oranguru, and this trade needs to be magical. Okay, that's sort of magical. Okay, so let's Ultra Ball away, then a Cerola, and then Enhance Hammer, I think. Not a big fan of getting rid of the Enhance Hammer. The Marsh Shadow is not here. Ah, the Marsh Shadow is not here, which sucks. There's nothing I can do about that. Right? So, like, my best plan now is to prepare to one shot a Guardi eventually. Ah, geez. The best plan now is to prepare to one shot a Guardi by getting all four Magic Arps into a Discord Ball and swing with Gyarados. That's gonna be the. my best and possibly only plan here. Not too afraid of the. Uh, Pleach X, 
especially not with three Zoras in play. Um, immediately promotes their Ralt, however. Is he going to get double work candy, Cardi? And then double secret spring, DC, choice band? Well, there's part of it. Lele for copycat? <laughs> Lele for judge. Now I need to find my four magic orbs. That's the goal here. Find the four magic orbs. Lele for Cynthia. Um, if also the Cynthia, he gets rare candy, guardy, fairy, and DC, then so be it, right? It's four very specific cards. It can happen, it's very unlikely. Choice ban Sicilian. For some reason. I do foresee how Gyarados is going to be an incredible attacker this game though. Probably not gonna be able to pull it off. I mean I do have I have three discards. Right. Oh the enhanced hammer. Okay, so now I need to find way too many cards. If I could have just reused that DC by playing a Cerola, that would have been magical. Okay. So let's go ahead and trade number one. That's one magic card in the discard pile. Uh, no magic herbs here. Um, get one heads. I'll grab them all, and that's gonna be the card I discard. But now it's gonna be like I don't have enough trades to get all the all four um, magic herbs into a discard pile, and it doesn't even seem like I'm gonna find the energy anyway. <laughs> so perhaps a choice ban. If I can Guzma take a KO on a Ralt, that wouldn't be terrible. But nope, not gonna happen here. Okay, so definitely gonna add Hand Hammer. The thing is, if I use Herola, I'm gonna need another Herola next turn. And I can laser all into the Gyarados because that's how I'm going to deal the damage. But I don't want to just let the Zora go down. I mean, I wouldn't mind losing a Lele. Just don't want to lose a Zorg. If he pushes to get a knockout, maybe I shouldn't have removed the energy. Uh, let's go ahead and timer ball. Okay, double heads, so we're thinning, right? We're probably thinning. There's three DCs. It's possible, right? It's not looking great, but it's possible. As long as we don't get charged here. And then my friend needs one, two, three, four. He, uh, he needs a rare candy. Actually, playing the enhanced hammer might have been a big mistake. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to palp at back the Azerolas. And then I'll pass. Um, I might need to Acer Ola. Triple trade is nice. But of the 21 cards, I need to find both magic arts and a way to discard them, right? And a DC. And perhaps an Acer Ola. So I need very specific cards here. I need very, very specific cards. So it's not looking great. If I, if I hadn't removed the DC, then my opponent would have knocked out the Lele. Then my play would have been very all-in-ish. So, I don't know. Yeah, very short, okay. So perhaps we're anything that knockout will matter later on. So let's go ahead and trade first. Trade the magic art. Our top deck didn't help us get any closer. Okay, there's... A uh, way to discard the magic cards. Right? So, definitely gonna trade the judge here, I think. Or the Zorg. Probably Zorg. That's an extra Zorg now. I mean, I can discard an extra magic card. So, then I'm gonna trade the Gyarados. And I can't do it. I can't find the magic herbs. I can't retreat though. I can't retreat. And if I do this, knock out the Curlia. 
I mean, I'm still gonna need to find... I'm gonna need to find another DC. I think that's how I go about it, though. I think that's how I go about it. I accept that I'm gonna lose... the Zork. But then I'm hoping I'll get return KO on the Guardi. <sighs> so I should Ultra Ball this turn? To lead off with a Magic Arp discard and to thin? I need one of my two DTs. That's gonna be the key here. And the other magic art, which I can get with Elms, but the issue is finding that DC. The issue is finding that other DC. We can find a DC or a Golden, because our Zorg definitely goes down here. Our Zorg 100% goes down. So let's see, for the, for the final game of this video, this is getting very intense. This is definitely getting, getting very, very intense. Okay, so my opponent debating on what to do. I hope he did get disconnected, that would suck. That would really, really suck. Please. Okay, there's a Cardi. Maybe he was contemplating he could Guzma the Gyarados? If he did that, then I would be okay to shutting the Cardi. Because he only gets one prize out of it. Okay, so he's still in the game. He's gonna Secret Spring. The Cynthia helps for sure. The Cynthia definitely helps. So the prize was pretty good. We're not scared of the Sylvian at all. We're going all in in our next play. Right? We are definitely going all in in our next play. I should stack this. Two Magic Arts. I need the fourth one and I need a DC. I'll be able to thin quite a bit though with the Mysterious Treasure, the two Choice Bands, and Magic Arb. Then it goes for a Tail Liza Shuffle. Uh, but we don't see a Ralts, it's 100% game. If I find the right cards, right? Which is Magic Arb and DT. Um, I might have better chances of finding them with Cynthia. Like leading with a Cynthia. Wow, even commits on energy to the Cardi. Um, yeah, I think my best chance here is to thin with the Mysterious Treasure, the Elms. Uh, double attach choice and trade once the magic card. Uh, okay, there's a DC, so we got it. Oof, okay. We got it, right? So, no need to risk the Cynthia. I'll just Elms for the magic card. Yeah. Elms for the magic card. I have two discards and I have the mysterious treasure just in case. Oof. <laughs> So we're gonna one-shot a Guardi dealing 230 damage. That is insane. That is actually an insane amount of damage. So there's the DC, there's the Choice Band. Um, don't need the other Choice Band on Gyarados, even if um, it gets removed. Don't need to Enhance Hammer. Um, I'll replay the Elms. Uh, I'll keep the Palpad, you never know. I'm just gonna go ahead and Venting Anger for 230, right? Four Magic Arbs, that's 50 each, 200, plus the Choice Band, and my opponent doesn't even let me do it. So yeah, my opponent went all in on the one Cardi. We were able to deal with the Cardi. Um, by knocking out the Curlia and that first uh, Ralts, we were able to guarantee that um, my opponent uh, didn't have a good follow-up to this, and then Sylvian dealing 110 damage was not going to be enough because Gyarados was just going to swing again and get a knockout. So, pretty cool deck by um, Philip Schultz. I believe he was the only one that played it, so very impressive that he 
believed in the Gyarados and managed to get a big victory out of it. So yeah, guys, that's gonna be it from me today. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like on the video. And if you're watching this on Monday, I'll be live with you tomorrow on Twitch. So make sure you follow me there as well. Thank you guys so much and until next time, bye-bye.